I know I've scheduled an hour. I don't envisage it going off for any more than sort of 30 minutes. I think it's going to be a nice, quick, easy one tonight. Um, basically, going to give you an overview of the promotion scheme for this year, with it all being your first time within the scheme. Um, there are some some quite big changes that we're doing this year, um, trying something slightly different at our sort of level 76, which is why yours is separate away from the 6 to 5 and the 5 to 4 meeting, because it's something fresh, something different. Um, and something that may or may not work, but we're going to give it a go. And if it doesn't, we'll revert back to the old way um, so we don't sort of impede your development and progress um, at all. So we'll flick through how it's going to work and what we expect of you as candidates um, throughout the season um, and what requirements there are. There are some requirement changes to the document we uploaded onto the website. Um, two reasons for that. Um, one, we're doing something against FA Grain um, and probably something that wouldn't be approved if we went through then directly. So. Um, we've kind of kept this sort of style on the hush hush, which is why you don't really fully know how this is going to work this season. Um, we're going to touch upon as well, continued development throughout the season, COVID-19 requirements when it comes to matches as well, and the link through to the right zones for that. And we're going to touch upon sort of the next stages and where we go from here. So the season this year, like I've touched upon, is going to be slightly different, OK? Um, and we've updated those requirements. One thing that is still required is going to be the laws of the game exam. However, Instead of you completing 20 matches, receiving two observations and um, attending an in-service training event, we're going to do it as 10 competitive adult fixtures for the 2021 season as a referee. So we've halved the number of games that you are required to do. Your club marks will be reviewed. And once you've completed those 10 games, we'll set up a one-to-one -one video call between myself and yourself. And to review five technical video clips um, to see how you deal with certain incidences um, on match day. As well as one thing that was still required is that in-service training events, but some of you will have already attended um, the one that we ran last month with the laws of the game changes and the COVID-19 requirements. Um, if not, if you didn't attend that, the next one coming up will be sort of early November, which I'm going to sort of announce uh, later next week at some stage. What this means um, is there's no observations taking place for yourselves this season. So as soon as you complete those 10 competitive adult fixtures, I review your club marks and we'll review those five technical videos. And on completion of those five videos and your laws, the game exam will be automatically promoted from level seven to six. After that, you will automatically, you six individuals, will automatically be put in promotion from level six to five. So because you six have applied for promotion and paid your promotion deposits, um, you will automatically enter level seven, uh, level six to five's promotion scheme. This 10 competitive adult fixtures and the reviewing of five technical clips will be open to, to the majority referees, so those that aren't involved in the promotion scheme. But your, for yourselves, you will also have the opportunity to attain promotion to level five this season, should you wish to. If you don't wish to sort of go from seven to six, six to five in one season, all you need to do is drop me an email. Um, we'll return your promotion deposit as well um, with that straight away. So that's not an issue and we can work around that depending on your specific requirements. What that means when you're putting for uh, level six to five is you'll have to complete the criteria for promotion from level six to five. So after this session, I'd recommend you log on to our website where the, the, the paperwork is um, and the criteria for that promotion scheme to take place. Um, as well. One thing that we also need uh, from you as well, and I believe all of you already have that in place, is a valid DBS and safeguard in children workshop. Um, I believe the, the six of you that are involved within that do all have that in place already because you've come off of recent courses within the last uh, 18 months, I think, the, the six of you. So um, you, you guys should already have that bottom one in place. So fantastic. You've completed past the criteria already. So Something slightly different and slightly fresh there with that. Before I move on, um, if anyone has any questions sort of around this part of the scheme and this part of the promotion scheme, um, unmute your mic, fire away, and I'll do my best to answer as much as I can. I'll take the silence as golden and that you're all. observed um, or you all fully understand. Perfect. So how do we expect this to work this season? How do we expect you to work and what do we expect of you as well? So you'll keep track of your own 10 games. 
So as soon as you've completed those 10 games, you'll let me know. Um, at that stage, then, if they're not um, on a FA full-time website, you'll be uh, advised to let me know of those games. Um, if it's a county league game or one of the other qualifiers, games that I'll touch upon in a moment, I'll be able to uh, verify that data via the, the online systems um, and then we'll arrange that the, the appropriate time um, and date to complete that uh, by video clip review session. One thing that is important uh, is to ensure that you are adequately available um, so that you will achieve those 10 games. 10 games doesn't sound like a lot. We've got seven months of the season left, 29 weeks again like a great deal that averages out of 1.42 games per month or one game every every nearly three weeks all right that's as long as we don't have any postponements due to bad weather we aren't affected by any breaks in play due to COVID-19 um, so that data and those numbers can change very very quickly um, and one thing we've tried to ensure and we will ensure with with those that are going six to five and five to four is that you get your games in as quickly as possible to avoid not achieving promotion due to areas outside both ours and your control. If we are impacted in any way due to COVID-19, there will be adjustments made within the criteria for promotion. However, if you still aren't within that criteria, um, your promotion won't be successful this season. You'd have to go again. So that's how we stand at the moment and that's how much time we've got or is how little time we've got, depending on how you look at it. So, for example, if you were to be available for one Saturday and one Sunday per month in adult football, it would take you three and a half months to complete um, that criteria um, effectively based on the number of weeks um, over, the, over the coming period. That should probably be broken down into number of weeks rather than the months. Um, remember, competitive games already completed since August count, and I believe at least five of you have completed fixtures already. And they're probably well on the way to those 10 games already that you've, you've attained. Um, one or two of you may already have completed those 10 games. Um, one thing that is always required for promotion candidates is the administration is at the absolute best it can be, making sure you've closed your dates on time, following the calling off procedure should you need to. Okay, We understand occasionally situations do arise where you do need to come off of your game after the points have been made, making sure you follow the correct procedure that's out there, such as um, calling Chris Abbott rather than dropping him an email or a text if you are coming off the game. Okay, make sure you're picking up that phone call and speaking to Chris if you do need to come off. Making sure you discipline submitted in time and that we're not having to chase you in order to submit that. Um, we've not had to do any of those yet this season, um, so hopefully um, that does continue and you can submit your discipline within those 48 hours after a match via whole game system. Engage in those development opportunities. So there's going to be a range of material go out through our social media challenges. There's going to be more WebEx meetings like this, and there's going to be some pre-recorded sessions released as well. I'll touch upon our social media challenges towards the end of this, this sort of session. So what leagues qualify and what matches qualify for your 76? Just to sort of break it down easily for you. So adult referee on the Cambridgeshire County League, Women's and Girls, Sunday and Sunday League, as well as United Counties League in Peterborough and District if you're based in the north of the county, which I don't believe um, any of you would fall under that category. So the three main leagues for you are going to be the County League, Women's and Girls and the District Sunday League. The reason why we, we include only those three leagues is because we readily have the data available for the number of games you've completed. So to give you an overview of why we've gone down the route we have this season with regards to this, there's a number of, of reasons why we've gone down that route. So. Promotion candidates is one of the key reasons. From level five to four, we've got seven candidates, which is our largest number for a number of years. Six to five, we've got 10, potentially rising to 16 with you guys all involved. Um, and level six to five, um, there's you five, and I've, there's been one added earlier this afternoon as well um, in Jake Basham. Um, I've just seen a couple of questions pop through. I will come to them shortly. So to break that down, to give reasons why, uh, I'm going to give you a comparison based on last year and this year. So 2019, we had six referees promoted. Um, five to fours require five promotions, so uh, five observations even. So we had to complete 30 observations. Level six to fives, we had 11 promoted, which required 33 observations because they required three apiece. And seven to six, we had 13 promoted who required two apiece, which came to 26. 
Our total promoted was 30, which required 91 observations throughout the, a, a longer period of season, 12 months in fact, or it was 15 months last year. A total cost of just over £2,000. This year, we've got seven candidates that require 28 observations. So this year, the FA have made the decision to reduce the number of observations level five to four candidates need to four. Level six to five is up at the one in bracket there because that's not including yourselves. It's 10 candidates and 20 observations. Now, if we were to include yourselves, that's now 16 that requires 32 because six to five now only require two observations instead of three. So six is a six candidates, no observations. Total wise, that's 23 candidates. So we have got a number, a lower number of candidates this season. Um, 28 including yourself, so we're not too far different. They require 48 observations or 58 including yourselves going into that six to five bracket. OK, if we were to continue at that rate as last year, those seven candidates that require five appeals got up to 35, 10 candidates require 30, five candidates require 10. So you're looking at 85 observations there before including any double jumps within that. So total cost this year is 1400 to 1600. So one of the reasons why we've done this is because of the cost impacts related to this. We've been heavily hit by budget cuts, as I'm sure you've seen all over the news with a 300 million pounds um, loss over the next three years nationally as an organisation. Um, so areas that where we can save money, we've had to look into those areas. One of the other reasons why we've made that decision as well is 76, 6 to 5, there isn't a massive difference in terms of the quality of football that you can achieve um, within the past sort of, for as long as I've been in role the past three years, coming to my, my third season now, uh, there's not been a single person that's not achieved promotion from 76. So where resources can be better used in other areas of the county, we've made the decision to go down that route and do so. OK, looking at the continued development that we've got. Um, as part of the training and as part of your in-service training that you need to complete, if you've completed that laws of the game, the COVID guidance session you've that we ran um, last month, um, you have ticked that box off. Um, as long as you attended the live session, if you've since viewed it on, on YouTube, um, that doesn't count, unfortunately, um, and you'll be required to attend one of the live sessions. Um, which will be in November. Um, we're going to release some pre-recorded content onto our YouTube channel, social medias, via newsletters as well. Um, so engage with them as much as you can. Um, engage with our social media ch uh, channels. Um, content is currently being designed to be released throughout the season on that as well. On Facebook, search Cams FA Referee. Um, and on Twitter, search Cams FA Referees. Um, Twitter and Instagram have the same handle as well. All content will be released on all three channels um, for you to engage directly with. One thing that is worth pointing out is because of the current ongoing situation, there will be no face to face sessions for the 2020 2021 season. Um, so everything will be ran via either the live sessions or the pre recorded sessions um, for your convenience. And any of the pre recorded sessions or any of the live sessions, sorry, will be recorded and released. Um, normally within 48 hours of that live session. Um, so if you aren't able to attend one of the live sessions, you can catch up via, via those means as well. In terms of the COVID-19 requirements, if you haven't done so already, please do read that um, or, or uh, visit our YouTube channel um, via that link below to watch that video, um, just to ensure you're fully prepared with everything that needs to be carried out for this season. Um, and review the documents that have been sent out in the newsletter as well. OK, um, main thing to point out that as you go to level 76, um, there's no face to face contact with observers. Feedback is all done remotely. One final thing to add really with that is um, I would strongly recommend that if you are wishing to do that double jump from with this uh, being added into the 76 group, um, that you attend our six to five and five to four promotion evening, um, which is being ran on Monday night on the, let me double check the date to make sure I'm giving you the right one. It's going to be run on Monday the 19th of October. 
All right, and I'll follow that up and put that date in an email with the recording of this session for you um, tomorrow. That's similar time into this. That's going to be around from 6.30 until 8 o'clock. Um, and we have a guest tutor coming along on that session as well um, to deliver some additional content. There's not going to be any any live sort of development material tonight because it's such a small group. It does make it difficult sometimes. If there's only only four of you there, so I would encourage you to come along to that session uh, a week on Monday um, and engage sort of within that session. Like I said, we've got a guest tutor coming in, coming online. Um, he's going to deliver some content. Not too sure what around yet. He's currently preparing that. If anyone's got any questions, now's the time. Um, I'm going to go through those two questions that I've seen. Um, on there. So um, are the games from now onwards or can they be from the start of the season? So Nick, they're from the start of the season. So any games that you've completed uh, from I think the league started in August, in September. So any competitive fixtures um, from September onwards uh, can be used. So if you've, you've done six or seven already before this meeting, um, they all count. Uh, can we do the video reviews before we complete the 10 game games? Uh, no, we're going to do that all afterwards, um, purely for a administration purpose um, and an ease of, of tracking that information appropriately as well. Because last thing we want to do, okay, I, I don't foresee any any problems um, of people not completing those ten games. But let's get those ten games done because that's the first key criteria. If you don't get those ten games done, none of the other criteria really matters. Simon, um, you don't find out your individual club marks but you can request your average for the season um the reason why we don't give individual club marks out is because if you're going to go and referee there again and you've not achieved the mark that you were expecting we don't want any preconceived ideas from yourselves going into to that situation not that we would expect people to go in with that with that mindset but it alleviates any sort of any sort of doubts or thought processes um that might be affected or any confrontation that might come up if, if you start asking Asking questions on that. So um, you can request your, your average mark um, at the end of the season. We don't do that during the season because sometimes people have only done one or two games and they, they, they can try and work out their marks from those two games. So end of season, you can request that um, from us. Uh, no, assistant referee doesn't count, but they will count towards your six to five promotions. So if you've done some games as an assistant referee already, um, they will count towards your six to five count. Um, from the start of the season. So if you've done two or three lines already, they don't count for your 76, but we will include them within your six to five promotion. So will the games go towards promotion from six to five also? No, so once you've completed your 10 games, um, you'll then need to, ret uh, your criteria for your middles will re restart um, for that. So you'll then have your 20 games to complete for your level six to five. As well, but your lines will carry over, so that's less weekends that, that won't need to be used on lines. Um, we've got a lot less lines this year because of the Kershaw Prem not having assistant referees. So your referee will, will restart and you'll need to complete those 20 games because that's fresh criteria. However, we can include your assistant referee because it's not criteria for this. Colts games do count going if you're six to five um, up to five games so you can only include five youth games um, within those 20. but more information on the six to five criteria will be covered in, in the week on monday session um, and again if you can't make it that, that session is going to be recorded um, and will be circulated to you following that meeting um, you'll be included within that mailing set has anyone else got any questions No, nothing from Simon. If anyone thinks of anything else afterwards, um, feel free to drop me uh, um, an email, a text, um, and I'll get back to you as soon, as soon as I can. Um, other than that, I promised you it'd be about half an hour. In fact, we've, we've only been 20 minutes. Really quick meeting, really simple, really basic overview of how the scheme is going to work this season. Um, if you do have any further questions, just drop a line to me. Um, if you've completed your 10 games, drop me an email um, advising of that as soon as you can um, and we'll get that sorted out as soon as possible. Um, and we'll get those those five video clips ready, prepared and we'll set up a one to one for you. Other than that, um, thank you very much for your time.
I appreciate um, the 20 minutes that you've, you've had. Um, enjoy your evenings. Um, enjoy watching England try and win. Um, I'm not very hopeful myself, but we'll wait and see. Um, and enjoy your games on Saturday. Um, the Laws of the Game exam will be done online, um, and I will circulate the link for that tomorrow. Um, it will self-mark as well, and you'll be given your answers uh, at the end. Um, there's a pass rate rate there of 80 percent um, i can't remember how many question numbers uh, questions there are but there's an 80 percent pass rate if you aren't successful there's a second attempt to take that as well other than that that is everything to the top of my knowledge um like i say enjoy your evening and i will speak to you all later on oh, oh sorry i've just got two more questions currently i've just seen them pop up uh, completes 10 games, two minutes, another five minutes with respect to the video. Gary Dick, so with those, um, the clips will be done on a one to one basis. So as soon as you complete your 10 games, the clips will be will, will be sorted out within the coming days for you, depending on the length of time from someone else. It is, it is, it is, if they take five minutes, they'll have their video clips in five minutes time. Um, with mentors, if it's available, um, we are limited on funds this year that my budget has been severely um, reduced um, and the only funding I've got is from, from the FA regarding uh, youth mentors first and second years so if you fall within that category I might be able to get you one or two um, but ideally um, you won't need them in your 10 games as soon as your first six to five game comes in we'll get you a, an observer on that, on that and now sort of reflect upon that. Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs>